I uh, grew up outside of Minneapolis with a pond in my backyard. So like most kids out there, as soon as you learn to walk, you're on skates. And uh, I have two older brothers who forced me into the net when I was like six or seven years old. And uh, I wanted to play with them. They said you couldn't unless you played goalie. And I really wanted to play with them. So I jumped in net and fell in love with it. My family moved out to the Boston area, which was somewhat fortunate being a hockey hotbed. And I played for a prep school out there and then on a travel team. Uh, so I would play in tournaments and kind of get recruited. And I would attend summer camps and write notes to coaches who I was interested in, And but I fell in love with Boston College. Fortunately, I was able to step in as a freshman and start playing and played there for a couple of years, uh, always in the back of my mind dreaming about making that U.S. team. And so when I first got that email, uh, finishing up my sophomore season, and they said, hey, we're going to invite you to one of the senior camps. And the stereotypical tryout drama comes at the Olympics where you're sitting in that room, uh, you've been up all night waiting, nervous, you know they're going to announce the team the next morning. And you walk in the room with all your best friends who you're just competing against and coach goes up and says, you know, what, whatever he says that you're not listening to because you're too nervous and then he read the roster off. And I remember, thankfully, he started with the goalies. So within two or three names, I heard, I heard my name and could kind of take a big sigh of relief. What you see in front of me is actually uh, from the two Olympics. So I played in 2010 in Vancouver, where we won silver, and then again in 2014 in Sochi, Russia. Um, and then this one's actually just from a couple weeks ago. I had the opportunity as a coach to go over with the under 18 team and work with their goalies uh, in the Czech Republic for their world championships. So they were an awesome team and they won gold, so got to bring another gold medal home. I almost felt like the outsider coming in. These kids had gone to camp together over the summer when they made the team. So I walked into the room uh, first day of camp and I didn't know any of the kids and they all knew each other. So it kind of took a few days to get to know all the players, their names, their numbers, kind of their, their personalities so I could have fun with them and, and coach a little bit better on the ice. I had just recently stepped away from USA Hockey and was trying to figure out the next step. Uh, I wanted to use hockey, use education. And a good friend of mine from college actually knew of Duck's score. So I, I applied to the job. Fortunately, they had an opening and. A few months later, I came out and interviewed and met the team, and all of a sudden I found myself in a car driving uh, 44 hours out here. We use the sport of hockey to promote physical fitness and then academic excellence inside the classroom. So one of the things we do is bring street hockey to about 60 local schools. Um, they're our partner schools. We give them the equipment, and we write the curriculum, and go out and teach these kids hockey. And my favorite part is seeing them day one, and they don't know how to hold a stick. They've never seen a ball. And then you go back week after week and you can see that excitement and passion growing and they're so excited to tell you about the Ducks game they watched the night before when a week ago they didn't know who the Ducks were. Um, so that, that's my favorite part is seeing that excitement from the very base level. 